Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and uh, today I want to go over with you some strategies of how to effectively fish a uh, inlet and produce fish. Um, right behind me is uh, we're at Boca Inlet. Um, there's the bridge at Camino Real. There's the inlet. Um, so basically some quick tips. Uh, rule number one. When you're fishing in an inlet, you always want the tide to be going out. What happens is the uh, the sediment and the, the the small little pieces of bait and food go towards the mouth of the inlet, and the uh, the bait fish come in and they feed on that, and that draws in the bigger predators. Um, so rule number one, if you really want to catch fish and not just feed the fish, uh, the little bait fish that is like sergeant majors and stuff, you really want to produce stuff the tide has to be going out. So, I don't know if you can see behind me, the tide is going out, which makes this actual a good tide to be fishing in inlet. But, as with uh, fishing, fish are cyclical feeders, so they tend to feed in the morning and uh, towards um, dusk. Uh, when the sun gets straight overhead like it is right now, it's about noontime, the fish tend to head out deeper in the water or and disperse over the reef to uh, gain shelter and to uh, get into the cooler water. Uh, so right now is not a prime time to fish, even though the tide is right, which is, it's, it's a uh, tide that's going out. Um, so those are the two basic rules that you really need to think about when fishing at an inlet. Uh, you want the tide to be going out, rule number one. And then rule number two is, you know, pay attention to the time of day. Noon is not optimal time to be uh, trying to catch fish. It's very hot and they, like I said, they go deeper and they disperse over the reef trying to gain shelter from predators. Um, also, uh, you know, be careful there's rocks and stuff in the inlet. So, you know, you want to use as little, as light of weight as you can. And, um, you know, if you're targeting snappers and stuff, you know, you want to hang out in the jetties, which there is a jetty over here. As if you can see it way back over there, I'll walk out there in a little bit. Um, and basically, those are the rules for uh, fishing the inlet. You know, it's not rules, it's just a strategy. If you want to go home with nothing, you can fish on an incoming tide. Um, so, you know, check your tide, tide charts. They're available on the internet or at bait stores. Um, oh, and another note. Um, when you're fishing from land, the FWC does require you to have a fishing license. It's free. You can go to Walmart or the bait stores that offer them, but you do have to have a license fishing from land. But like I said, you don't have to pay for it. That's only if you're out on a boat. Um, so I'm going to uh, give you some better shots of what's going on here at the inlet. And uh, this is South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, and uh, I'll see you out on the water soon. The boat's getting an engine on it this week. So as you can see, the tide is going out towards the mouth of the inlet out there at the end of the jetty so it's a good tide to be fishing but it's the wrong time of day seeing that the sun is pretty much straight up um, there's no bait fish in the inlet right now but there should be it's coming summertime pilchards should be swimming around somewhere there's always goggle eyes so that's basically it if you're ever fishing Boca Inlet, little tip, over there, the seawall right there, that's uh, where you want to catch your bait, your pilchards and stuff. They tend to uh, gather right here at this turn, going in towards the bridge. And then where you catch the fish is out at the end of the jetty, more towards the beach side, not so much on the inlet side. Uh, at night, you get in big sharks. So if you want to do that sort of stuff too, you can.